She hit me. I hit the truck in front of me. And then the truck in front of me hit the minivan. I-94 crash zones. We investigated, collected the data, and now sharing the danger zones, places you are more likely to crash. Okay, so that was Jennifer Green. You just heard from her, and she's one of the many viewers who reached out to me when I was asking, like, hey, what are some of your concerns in terms yeah. of areas that you may drive, especially on I-94? So I know you've been busy working on this, and you've been digging through a lot of information and data trying to figure out which are the most dangerous spots. Right. It, uh, it takes a lot of work. We went through five years of data to try to exactly pinpoint where you need to be careful in terms of driving. So tonight we're going to share you share with you those hot spots. Also, a spot in Macomb County on I-94 that has seen a lot of crashes. Let's start there. She hit me. I hit the truck in front of me. And then the truck in front of me hit the minivan. Jennifer Green was getting off eastbound I-94 at 23 Mile when she was hit. My car was totaled. It was very scary and nowadays I, I am so more vigilant and aware of my surroundings. A few days ago, I posted this social media clip asking for viewer input. Send me a message and stay tuned for this investigation. We heard from Jim who shared his story about his son's death in a crash on I-94 in Washtenaw County. Tim shared his worries about the entrance ramp from Van Dyke to eastbound 94. We did some digging into the spot you're most likely to crash in Macomb County. We found out it's I-94 between 9 Mile Road to 12 Mile Road. There were 1,327 crashes in a five-year period. Five of those crashes were deadly. December had the most crashes with 139. Friday had the most crashes with 238. 39% of crashes were single vehicle, and the most common time of crash, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. On a typical day, there are 150,000 drivers who use I-94, so we wanted to find out where you're most likely to crash. We wanted to see for ourselves and catch on camera from all different angles. Oh, it's red though. I'm not supposed to go. What it was like driving through a crash zone. We're going to hit the stretches you are more likely to get into a crash. So the second highest stretch that sees the most crashes on I-94 is mile markers 217 to 220. That's I-94 between Mount Elliott Street and French Road in Wayne County. In that five-year time period, there were 2,138 crashes reported. Seven of them were deadly. But it's a major truck route. It's traffic heading to the border. And that brings us to the spot you're most likely to crash. I-94 between mile markers 213 and 216. That's the area between Warren Avenue and I-75 in Wayne County. 2,381 crashes in the past five years. I believe a majority of these crashes have been things like side swipes, rear end crashes, because again, people are too fast, they're too close, they're not paying attention. June sees the most crashes, 218 in that five year period we examined. April, the least with 175. More crashes happened on westbound I-94 with 54%, Friday saw the most crashes, Sunday the least. We need drivers to remember when they get behind the wheel, they are driving thousands of pounds of steel metal glass at a high speed. And we were unable to, we were able to uncover so much information in terms of crashes, locations, times of day. We posted all that information on clickondetroit.com. The QR code at the bottom of your screen can take you there and you can take a deep dive just to make sure you have the information, the time, the next time that you plan your road trip. Yeah.